Ever wondered who truly invented the first smartphone and how it changed the world? Join us as we uncover the hidden story behind this iconic device and the visionary minds who brought it to life. This isn't just about tech. It's about dreams, breakthroughs, and a revolution that fits in your pocket. So grab a coffee, maybe a notebook if you're a tech nerd, and let us rewind to the days when phones were the size of bricks and the idea of a smartphone was pure sci-fi. It's the 1970s, and mobile phones are barely a thing. The idea of a smartphone, a phone plus a computer, wasn't born overnight. In the 1980s, visionaries started tinkering. Science epoch devices like the 1984 organizer were pocket computers with calendars and contacts, but no phone. AT&T's EO personal communicator in 1993 had email and a touchscreen, but it was more tablet than phone. Then there were PDAs, personal digital assistants, like the Apple Newton, 1993, which could scribble notes but couldn't call. These gadgets were tantalizing but clunky, expensive and limited, Battery life sucked, screens were tiny, and networks, dial-up modems were cutting edge. Still, these early prototypes were whispers of the future, proof that dreamers were thinking beyond bricks. Let's meet the pioneers who made it real. All right, let's talk about the Game Changer, the IBM Simon Personal Communicator, launched in 1994. This wasn't just a phone, it was the world's first smartphone, and it was mind-blowing for its time. Picture a chunky black box, half phone, half computer, with a green monochrome touchscreen. It could make calls, send emails, fax documents, and even run apps like a calendar and address book. It had a stylus, fancy, right? And sold for 899s with a two-year contract. IBM sold 50,000 units, mostly to business folks, before pulling it in 1995. Why? It was slow, the battery lasted an hour, and mobile networks weren't ready. Still, Simon was a pioneer, the first to marry phone and computer in one device. Who made this happen? Enter the visionaries. Martin Cooper, the Motorola engineer who invented the first mobile phone in 1973, laid the groundwork. His two-pound Dynatac call from a New York street was a eureka moment, proving phones could go anywhere. Then there's John C.C. Fan, a display tech guru whose work on LCD screens in the 1980s made touchscreens possible. IBM's team, led by engineers like Frank Canova, brought Simon to life, battling skeptical bosses who thought, who needs email on a phone? Ex-posts in 2025, like our tech history fans, Simon was the OG smartphone. Give props to these unsung heroes. The challenges were brutal. Batteries couldn't keep up. Simon needed a recharge every hour. Mobile networks were spotty, 2G was just rolling out, and data was a crawl. Socially, people scoffed. Why carry a mini-computer when pages were cool? Economically, the price was a hurdle. 899 in 1994 is like $1,800 today. Yet, these pioneers pushed through, driven by a vision of a connected world. Their work set the stage for the smartphone boom. How did it finally take off? Let's find out. Fast forward to the 2000s, and the smartphone dream starts to shine. The big breakthrough? Touchscreens. Early devices like the Palm Pilot, 1996, and Blackberry, 1999, had buttons or tiny screens, but touch was clunky. Then, in 2007, Apple dropped the iPhone, a sleek slab with a capacitive touchscreen that felt like magic. You could pinch, zoom, and swipe, no stylus needed. Steve Jobs called it a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator. The world lost it. Apple sold 6 million iPhones in its first year. But let's not forget LG's Prada, 2006, the first capacitive touchscreen phone, or HTC's Touch, 2007, which beat iPhone to some markets. Touchscreens made smartphones intuitive, like an extension of your hand. Next up, the mobile internet. In the 1990s, internet on phones was a joke. Think WAP browsers loading pixelated text at snail speed. By 2005, 3G networks brought faster data, letting you browse real websites. The iPhone's Safari browser in 2007 made the internet feel alive on a phone. Google's Android, launched in 2008 with the HTC Dream, democratized it, offering open-source freedom. By 2010, 
300 million smartphones were sold globally, with 50% of US adults owning one by 2012. Suddenly, you could email, Google, or video call from a cafe. It wasn't just tech, it was a lifestyle. Then came apps. Apple's App Store, launched in 2008, started with 500 apps. By 2025, it has 2 million. Google Play followed, hitting 3 million by 2023. Apps like Angry Birds, WhatsApp, and Instagram turned phones into gaming rigs, social hubs, and cameras. Developers became rock stars. A 20-year-old could code a million-dollar app in their bedroom. Ex-posts like Tech Trend 2025 S apps changed how we live, nail it. Apps made smartphones indispensable. From BlackBerry's email dominance to iPhone's app explosion, the smartphone was no longer a gadget. It was a revolution. What's it like today? Let's dive in. Welcome to 2025, where smartphones are practically part of our DNA. Over 6 billion people, 80% of the planet, own one. The market's worth 500 billion, with 1.5 billion units sold yearly. Operating systems run the show. Apple S iOS and Google S Android own 99% of the market, with iOS on 1.5 billion iPhones and Android powering 4 billion devices. Others, like Huawei's Harmony OS, are rising in China, but it's an Apple-Google world. These systems are powerhouses. iOS 18 2024 brings AI-driven photo editing, while Android 15 offers satellite texting. My friend swears his Pixel 9 knows what I want before I do. The future's wild. Foldable phones like Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 6 are booming, 20 million sold in 2024. Augmented reality, AR, is next. Apple's Vision Pro glasses pair with iPhones for immersive apps like virtual meetings or 3D gaming. AI's everywhere. Google's Gemini Assistant books your flights while Siri's smarter than ever. Battery tech is evolving. Graphene batteries promise 48-hour life by 2027. Web sources predict 6G by 2030 with speeds 100 times faster than 5G. Imagine downloading a movie in a second. The societal impact? Massive. Smartphones shrank the world. WhatsApp connects families across continents. TikTok made a rickshaw driver a star. But there's a flip side. Screen addiction's real, with kids averaging seven hours daily. Privacy scandals like data leaks spark debates. Still, smartphones empower. Farmers check crop prices. Students learn on YouTube. Ex-posts like A Digital India 2025 say smartphones are India's classroom. From communication to activism, they've rewired society. But what's the legacy of that first smartphone? Let's wrap it up. Let's take a moment to reflect. The IBM Simon, that clunky 1994 brick, wasn't a commercial hit, but it was a spark. It showed the world a phone could be more, a computer, a communicator, a dream machine, from Simon to the iPhone to today's foldables, the smartphone's journey is a testament to human ingenuity. It's not just tech, it's connection, creativity, and change. By 2023, smartphones drove $4.3 trillion in global economic activity, e-commerce, gig work, you name it. They've made information free, voices louder, and lives easier. The evolution's far from over. In 2025, companies like Xiaomi and Oppo are pushing holographic displays while startups experiment with brain-computer interfaces. Web sources hint at smartphone implants by 2040. Imagine texting with your thoughts. Challenges remain, e-waste piles up with 50 million tons yearly, and digital divides persist in rural areas. Yet the future's bright. Smartphones could power telemedicine, climate tracking, or space exploration, Ex-users like Atoy Tech Futurist 2025 Muse, the next smartphone might colonize Mars. So here's to the pioneers, Martin Cooper, John Fan, Frank Canova, and countless others who dared to dream. To every viewer, your phone's more than a device, it's a legacy. What will you create with it? A business, a film, a revolution? Thanks for joining me on this five-hour epic. If the smartphone story blew your mind, smash that like button, share it with a friend, and comment, what's your favorite smartphone moment? Maybe your first iPhone or a life-changing app. 
Until next time, keep swiping, keep dreaming, and I'll see you in the digital age.